Hey guys, it's Dr. Bickling from Own It Dental. Today is Friday, so we're gonna have a little fun. Uh, today we're not gonna do a little TikTok review. We're gonna do something a little bit more edutainment. Um, <clears throat> but again, if you're enjoying these videos, please do click that like button right down below. It only takes a second and it helps me out a lot. Uh, please consider subscribing. And if you have any YouTube videos, TikTok videos, or other funny content you'd like me to review, go ahead and drop the link in the comment section down below and I'll go ahead and review it just for you. Uh, today we're going to talk about something called supernumerary teeth. I recently had a friend reach out to me. He said that his kid has some extra teeth, uh, extra adult teeth, and wanted to know how common that was and what are some things that we can do about it. So today I'm just going to kind of dig into that a little bit and we'll, we'll find out some stuff together. All right. All right. So when, when you have uh, supernumerary teeth um, or extra teeth, it's called supernumerary teeth. And according to Google here, how common they are, up to 3.8% of the U.S. population or of the population has supernumerary teeth. Um, I've seen it quite frequently in, in my career. Um, so I guess for every 100 patients that walk through my door, you know, as many as four of them, you know, will have extra adult teeth. Um, <clears throat> You know, when we look at an x-ray, something like this, you might think that this patient has um, extra teeth, but this is just a kid, right? And so, and these are normal adult teeth here, um, and they're gonna come in and they're gonna replace these baby teeth right here. So these are adult teeth up front here, and then these are the adult teeth um, down in the bones there, and they're just gonna come up and, so this, this person doesn't have um, uh, supernumerary teeth, extra teeth. Um, Something a little bit more like this is a little bit more common. The most common um, extra teeth are your wisdom teeth, you know, so your third molars, you know, so extra ones in the back. Those are very common. I also find it pretty common in the bicuspid area, kind of, you know, down here. Um, even sometimes the lateral incisors or canines. Um, but it's definitely the third molars that are most common. Um, on an x-ray, it might look something like this. So here's a um, here's a, a th impacted third molar. You can see it's coming in sideways. And look at the extra third molar down there. So, and then you can see like an extra bicuspid here. Looks like there might be something hiding there or maybe something hiding there. So um, this is what it might look like on an x-ray. You know, this most times, you know, patients don't even know they have the extra teeth, you know. We find out as dentists when we take these x-rays. And then, and then in cases like this, in most cases of supernumerary teeth, you know, we just kind of leave it alone because you could imagine it would do more harm than good trying to go in and, you know, get this guy out. Um, or same thing right here. So, yeah, in most cases, we just kind of leave it alone and, and patients really don't even know that they, they have them. Uh, just interesting fact, the record for the most number of supernumerary teeth that I've seen in my career is 14. So, um, and it was on, it was on a, like a, a little, like a, a girl, like a petite little um, girl. I mean, it was, but, uh, and again, for most of the cases, we just really can't do anything about it. Um, uh, in some instances, we could take them out if those if the extra teeth kind of work their way out towards the surface, makes it a little bit easier um, for us to get at. Then yeah, in, in instances like this, we could go in, we could take this one out, maybe take these out. Looks like there might be another one hiding up there, um, and then maybe use braces just to kind of straighten everything up. But so in a situation like this, yeah, I've seen these where we've gone ahead and taken some extra teeth out, supernumerary teeth. We've taken them out. Um, this is funny. I'm sure that some of you may have seen this uh, going around the internet uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, you know, this it was reportedly somebody in India or something like that had like, you know, 300 extra teeth or something like that. And um, I don't need Snopes to tell me that this is false because, uh, you know, look at this perfectly formed arch. This person has clearly had braces, right? And all of these are just perfectly formed. If this person really had extra teeth like that, these these other teeth wouldn't be all straight like that. So if you ever see uh, this photo, just know that this is a, this is a doctored photo. This isn't real. Um, so in many cases, just to review, it's pretty, it's, it's not that uncommon. Um, I guess 4%, I guess is uncommon, but I have seen it plenty of times in my career. Um, typically when we see it, we're going to see it on the x-ray and the patients don't even know that they have the extra tooth. So in many cases we just leave it alone. Um, if they do happen to work themselves out towards the surface, then yeah, in some cases like that, we can take them out, um, and then help straighten up the, um, the teeth. But, uh, so if you know you or somebody you know has extra teeth, you know, 
you're special, you know, you're, you're top 4%. Um, in many cases, don't, you shouldn't have to worry about it. There's nothing you can do about it if it's down in the bone. And, um, and I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you on the next one. Send me some TikToks, send me some funny videos and I'll go ahead and review them for you. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.